Welcome back to the Fair Sports Update. Joined now by Drew Durantes, Bears Hockey's newest alum. And Drew, thanks for joining me today. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. I know it's kind of weird to say that, that your uh, college hockey career has come to a close here and as you've had a few weeks to kind of absorb it and you look back, uh, what are some of the things you pick out about uh, what you really enjoyed about playing here at Ferris? Yeah, you know, one that comes to mind with this warmer weather coming up is the, all the tubing trips we used to take right at the start of the year. I remember uh, first trip, we had about 70, 80 people down on the river. Uh, my tube popped, lost my flip-flops, got the ribs all scraped up by some rocks, but it's uh, little memories like that with all your teammates year after year and the um, alumni that uh, really made my time here special at Ferris. Yeah, certainly looking forward to warm weather, but as we go backwards into the winter, and uh, this is a season where a lot of guys fought through a lot of injuries, uh, got a little up and down there, but as you went down the stretch, a couple of big wins at the end, and when you went into the playoffs, how did you guys feel uh, going into play Bowling Green? Honestly, I think we felt really, really confident in our own ability. Um, in the last couple of games, we played extremely well, and even in those first two games in, in BG, I think it could have either or went either way, especially the overtime game. Um, looking back on the season, it's a little frustrating where you had big games like Northern, the start of the season that you could have won. And I think that's kind of how our season went. We had those games that we just weren't able to pull out, and that ultimately showed there uh, in the playoffs. So look back at some of the season highlights here, early season sweep of Alaska Anchorage. This is a team that swept four home series this year and uh, more than they've done since the 2013-14 season. Man, I love playing the Alaska teams. They always compete pretty hard. And it's actually tough on their ice. Uh, their ice is huge, you know, as you can yeah. tell. So luckily we're playing at home here. But yeah, certainly as we uh, go back to the road series at Lake Superior State, you get a big win here. And uh, you had gone through a stretch of maybe not some great hockey. You get a couple of key wins here against Lake Superior State. And uh, as you started to go down the stretch here, does that make you guys feel a little bit better? Yeah, I think any time you can piece together a couple wins, you're getting confidence from everybody uh, out there. I know especially for the, for the goalies, it's nice to lock down a win, maybe a sweep, and that really gets their, their juices going for practice the next week and, and the following weekend. Especially as you went down the stretch, you got some really good goaltending performances. Here's uh, some footage from the series against Michigan Tech. Uh, I know you like playing against your upper peninsula <laughs> hockey teams. We've talked about that yeah. a bunch, but uh, yeah. certainly this was a great weekend. Some big crowds against Michigan Tech and a weekend sweep. Yeah, and the best part about playing Tech is they, their fans travel well. So our building's electric, but they bring their fans too, and it's really a fun atmosphere to play in. So we take a look here. A lot of highlights of Cole Norris, Riker Killens, two guys that had big years this year. And uh, what did you like about Cole Norris, uh, just the way he competed this year? Uh, not the team leader in goal scoring, but seems like a guy that's really going to be a good goal scorer at this level. You know, I like the way he sees the ice and protects the puck. I, there's probably countless clips where he's going all the way around the offensive zone, protecting the puck, getting chances on net. And I think he was rewarded for it. He got maybe 18, 19 points this season. So I think that's a really strong freshman year for him. And I, I'd love to see what he can do next year and the following years. As you look on to next year, I know a uh, little bit tough because you're not going to be here, but when, when you look at some of the guys that are going to get healthy in the offseason and come back, you look at some of the guys that have transferred and will become eligible this year. Yeah. Um, what do you think about this upcoming group of hockey players? I think it's exciting. Um, it would have been nice to get Oscar this year. I've seen him in practice. I, I really think he's got a lot of ability, and it'll be nice to see how that translates. Uh, getting Craig back in the lineup. I know Craig, he's had a phenomenal sophomore season, then he got, he's been getting hurt, but Hopefully he can figure, figure out the whole injury thing and, and produce. And I just think top to bottom, we've had a lot of good transfers. we got Frankie coming in, who uh, he looks good in practice. Little guy buzzing out there. And um, I'm excited to see how the team will do next year. When you go back and look at uh, your time with this coaching staff in particular, a lot of guys, that, um, they, they all, it's kind of, they're kind of like the Ferris hockey team. They all have their own role, and they seem to play it real well. And uh, what did you like about playing for this group? You know, what sticks out is meeting Pham for the first time. He was really, he wasn't that loud as he is in practice. So that first practice, I was completely taken back. Uh, he loves yelling. He loves providing a lot of energy. Uh, I think uh, Coach Daniels is excellent um, when he's talking to the players. He knows how to make a witty joke. He knows how to get guys uh, feeling a little relaxed before, you know, maybe a big game or a big practice. And, and Coach K, he, he's been a great mentor to me, especially on the PK and, and just little things on the ice. Uh, I respect them all, and, and I thank them for believing in me and giving me my opportunity. When you look at uh, the opportunity you get to play college hockey with your brother as well, I know his career didn't end the way he wanted it to. He got to do a little color commentary with me, but 
Uh, how great was that to go out there? I mean, the first time he got to play when you guys are on the road in Alaska, what was that moment like for you two? It was extremely special. I think that was my birthday weekend in January. My parents flew up all the way to Alaska. Might have been the only Ferris people there other than the team. Um, that moment to play with him is something I'll always remember. Uh, we always joke that we can't get away from each other. We're living together now. We've lived together all our lives. Uh, we played hockey together, but honestly, I think we both wouldn't want it any other way, and um, I'll always remember that. When you go back, uh, I know you had a lot of academic success as well here at Ferris State. What are some of your plans moving forward here after graduation coming up? Yeah, I'm looking forward to move down to Nashville. Um, got a job there, uh, obviously, with Tyler again, so it looks like we're moving there, but... Uh, we got to intern there this summer, and it was an incredible experience from, you know, the country music just to the atmosphere. Zach Doerr is down there. You got to show us around. So uh, I'll be doing financial sales in Nashville. Now, again, looking back at uh, your Ferris hockey career, uh, are there any games in particular that stick out to you as maybe some of your favorites? I would say the uh, final five, our sophomore year, that, that stretch of games leading all throughout playoffs, then all the way into the tournament. Um, it was just a high around the locker room. It was so electric, and I don't have one game that sticks out. Probably the winning that championship and throwing all our gloves in the air, uh, getting that trophy from one of the upperclassmen. It's, you can't put it into words. Um, that was just a phenomenal season, and I'll always remember that. And one thing that uh, a lot of Ferris hockey players, when they go back and reflect on their careers, remember is the fan support. Uh, go back to your freshman year, your first college hockey game. Oh, yeah. Um, what, what was that like? Uh, you came here, we're playing University of Michigan. Dylan yeah. Larkin, a guy that you grew up with, yeah. was on the ice, and uh, it was that, that was really one of those something else nights. Yeah, I, you had to rub your eyes because it's like, oh, my God, look at this. The place is completely packed. Uh, the fight song, I had never heard it for the first time. That was the first time. So, you, again, you can't put it into words. I think I played with about six or seven of those Michigan kids growing up through youth hockey at Compuart, Andrew Cott, Max Stewart, uh, a bunch of those Cutler Martin, a bunch of those guys, so it's just, it's incredible. Well, Drew, thanks so much for joining me again today, and uh, congratulations on a great career in uh, graduating and getting a job down in Nashville. Thank you, I appreciate it. That'll do it for this week's episode of the Fair Sports Update. Thanks for, to all my guests for joining me here in the Fair Sports Update this week. For more information on Bulldog Athletics, you can visit FairStateBulldogs.com to check in on the Fair State men's basketball team in the Elite Eight. You can follow us on Twitter, at FerrisMBball as well, for in-game updates as well as scores and more. Thanks again, everybody, for joining us, and we'll talk to you next week.